Good morning, friends. Today I want to share three things with you. How to descale a Durgo, clear up some confusion about citrus-based descalers, and lastly, to share a tip that will help you to save more money, which will allow you to spend it on coffee. So first up is descaling. We're going to grab our bottle and check out the instructions. It says to use between five to 10 ounces and we're going to use half the bottle. So about eight ounces. It's a good idea to use a measuring cup to pre-mix your solution before you dump it into your machine. We add the Durgol. Top up with the equal amounts of water. Put it in the machine. Start your brewer and let it run. It's not a bad idea to stop the brewer after about half the solution has gone through. Just let it sit for five or 10 minutes. Start it up again, let the solution finish running. After your solution is done, discard the water out of the carafe, give it a good triple rinse. Fill your machine with fresh filtered water and let it run through completely. You're going to want to do this twice to ensure that there's no residuals in the system. There's links in the description for Durgol, as well as also another descaler called Descal. I've made a video about that one, which brings us up to point number two. I had seen people posting questions about the safety of using Descal in their Technovorms because Technovorm Europe had advised against using citrus-based cleaners and instead were advising to people to use Durgol in their coffee machines. Since I just made a video using Descal, which is a citrus-based cleaner, I decided to check it out. I emailed Technovorm Europe to see what their deal was, and it was forwarded to the customer relations manager in the US. So Descal is a citrus-based cleaner. It has been used in North America for over 30 years, and destroying your coffee maker has not been an issue. The citrus-based cleaners of concern are the industrial strength ones that are used in those stainless machines. The Technovorm is a copper-based boiler and a lot of your cheaper coffee machines are aluminum and they can be more caustic on them and that's where you can have the leftover flavors. When I asked Courtney at Technovorm US why Europe was recommending Durgol and North America was recommending Descal, she basically said availability. Descal is made in the US, it's cheaper to get here. Durgol is made in Europe, cheaper to get there. Saving money means buying more coffee. Third topic to cover is the money saving tip. How hard is your water? The harder your water, the more often you're gonna to have to descale. Now this is the tip, is establish a baseline of how quickly your machine runs through a set amount of water. Get an average of five or 10 batches of coffee, preferably similar starting water temperature and the same volume. Time how long it takes from when you hit the go button to when the water first starts coming out of the shower head. This will give you an idea of how fast the energy is being transferred into the water. If you have a lot of scale buildup, it won't be as quick. You can also measure the overall time it takes from when you hit start to when your stream turns into a drip. However, that will depend also on how much coffee you're using and the grind. And that will change if you change your grind size or how much coffee you're actually using in your batch. So after a month, take down the average of three brew times and record it. Keep doing this until you notice either your coffee doesn't taste as good or your brew time is running outside of your recipe. And by getting that baseline previously, you'll know after descaling if you've returned your machine back to its factory condition. By comparing to your baseline, it'll let you know how effective your descaling was or if you need to modify your method. Remember, a clean machine makes tastier coffee.